everyone, welcome back to Rich and Bella Crafts. Rich are here. Welcome to take 739. Um, I have actually done this video twice and spent 12 hours trying to upload it, having massive IT problems, and I've just given up. I'm so I'll just do it again because uh, my laptop's crashed and uh, it's just been chaos. So, oh, so here we are, 12 hours later, trying all over again. Okay, really quickly, I'm just going to show you, um, we've got three new kits out. They are in our Etsy shop. Just thought I'd do a quick flip through for those of you that haven't yet seen them. So this is the Snowdrops and Blossom kit. Um, this is the spring kit. Um, Mum asked me to make her a kit for spring with snowdrops in. So I went and did a little sourcing, found my uh, designs and have come up with this lovely kit. Really pleased with it. Lots of kind of collagey details in the background as well. And our pretty little uh, girl there with the snowdrops. Got some lovely birds in there, some vintage postcard images, an old calendar. Um, and of course some beautiful blossom in there as well. So there's a selection of journaling pages. Great collage page there for you as well. I love these pages, they're just fab. Um, there's then a selection of background pages so you can use if you want to print double-sided in your journal. Um, and some of these are great as well because they enable you to write on them if you want to journal. Um, or of course, if you wanted to just stick things over the top, it's great because you don't have a white page underneath. I'll go this way, sorry, I'm making a shadow. Um, that's another background page there. And that's another black background, background page there. This is my favourite of the pages of Ephemera. Um, I love this one. Sorry, I'm just move that. These are uh, pockets and fussy cuts. So you've got these pockets here, which are uh, made with music paper. And then I've just added some uh, images there of some spring flowers. And then these are the corner pockets. Um, so obviously one's that way and then one is that way. And I've added lace trim to them as well. And then you've got these little elements here to fussy cut. Um, these are some journaling cards. Um, but you could also use them as pockets and tuck spots. So obviously depending on what you wanted to do with them. Um, but they've got all of the, the lovely spring images on those as well. Um, these are some more um, vintage style uh, kind of journaling cards. And again, you can use these as pockets if you wanted to. Um, I've kept the edges jagged as well so that it um, just gives it that real oldie feel. These are um, envelopes, but I haven't included the fold lines. So if you really wanted to, you could also use them as journaling cards. Um, simply just cut straight across the bottom there, take that arch out, and then they make a really nice large journaling card to go into your journal. Um, this is another set of envelopes with some little heart uh, details as well. So you can use these as ephemera. Um, and then you've got two, um, I think these are they're like the coin shaped pockets aren't they? I think they're slightly more oblong. And then this is the set of tags with stamps and then you've got these little tiny labels down below. But I have fitted the labels so that they are close together. So if you wanted to fold them in half so you've got something on both sides, um, you can. And then they just look a bit more interesting than whichever way they're put in. And you don't have to worry about backing them then as well. Um, or if you were really good with fiddly things, you could make tiny, tiny little journals out of them, I suppose. But um, there's also some like ticket shaped ones there as well and some smaller tags. So that is the spring kit called Snowdrops and Blossom. The second kit that we've got is called Around the World a travel journal kit. So um, I'll tell you more about the reason why I made this in a moment, but let's just have a quick look through the kit. So you have um, a front page. Um, you can use this as a cover if you wanted to print it out onto cardstock. Um, it would make an ideal cover and I've left the edge in so that it looks quite um, vintagey. So if you wanted to tear the edge, you could, or, you know, for inking or what have you. So you've got two pages like this. Uh, this one is talks about favourite memories and says today I. So the idea is that you're able to journal on the pages or, you know, stick things on that have got notes on or what have you. Um, oh, I love this page. This is obviously just a, um, a journaling page with some vintage um, elements in the background. Um, this is another one here then. You can uh, write and journal on this side if you want. You can do your checklist, you can do your packing list, whatever. Uh, that mark there is not on the digital 
somebody dripped water on my page and I wasn't going to reprint. So, uh, but that one there actually is. So as you can see, it's got a bit wet there. So I do apologize. Um, this is another one that you've got a uh, journal in space. I just felt it was really important for a travel journal to have uh, lots of areas to uh, actually journal in. Um, you know, as nice as it is to have elements, it's also great to have spots that you can journal on. Uh, this is another one here with a lovely ship of a uh, picture of a ship in the background. Um, I put one of the vintage checks in there. There's a, a map and your suitcase and your postcard. Here we have got writing space, places to visit, things to do. Uh, there's an image on here, but it is faint enough that you could write over the top of that. Um, or if you wanted to, you can put pockets over there or whatever takes you fancy. Um, this one here is another uh, journal page. And I've just put that verse in there from Psalm 23. Because um, I thought it was really good for a travel journal. And we've also then got um, vintage binoculars in there and some other vintage uh, travel elements. And these cute little two here, aren't they? Lush sat in a train station. Somebody's got to come and pick them up, I think. Uh, postcards for you to decorate or journal on, whichever. Um, and also there's some labels here as well for you to use for your um, embellishing. We have a set of large tags. I have positioned these close enough together so that you can make a trifold with them should you want to. If not, simply just cut them down and you will have three large tags there. Um, I've put details more near the top on these so that if you want to add pockets and things, you know, you can do that and you don't feel like you're covering over anything, you know, really relevant. Um, there's a lar nice large pocket here, uh, a little ticket there to print out, so ephemera, a coin pocket, uh, a, not pocket, envelope, and another coin envelope there. Um, this is a, a fussy cut page with lots of tickets and um, these are like, I've done these at like sizes of cigarette cards. So they're ideal for uh, small bits of ephemera to go into your travel journal. And this one, the same, then we've got small tags here. We've got smaller corner pockets. This is actually a little notebook. So you cut that out and fold it in half and you can make a little notebook out of that. Um, and these are also uh, pockets. One is, they both go that way but it's just on the page because I couldn't put it on. And then this one, the wonderful ladies from the Facebook group, I did ask the other day, it was a bit of a help me moment. And I was like, girls, I'm trying to finish this kit. Give me some words that you would want to put in a travel journal kit. So uh, those that got to me quick enough, I popped those words in. There have been more words since. I will pop those onto another sheet and I will probably do those as a freebie now in the middle of the month um, with some extra words that will go with this kit as well. So this is our travel journal kit not of course to be confused with a traveler size notebook <laughs> this is literally a travel journal okay and the last kit that i'm going to show you today is this one here um oh, I, I absolutely love this kit i wanted to do this kit for um a little while i had the idea when we were actually on holiday in dublin um and took loads and loads of photographs when we were there with this kit in mind and having since now come back i've obviously digitalized them and given them effects and things and then been able to come up with this kit so I'm really really pleased with this um but the photographs in these this kit are all places that I visited and saw and took pictures of uh, while we were in Dublin um I think some of them are in Waterford as well so um yeah it just it, it's obviously all about the doors there's a, a, a door um a doorway there in a, a in a castle um that's Dublin Castle there and um, you know we've got a door there there are some images of vintage wallpaper behind there are also some images of um uh, ancient architecture as well so I've tried to work those in uh there are some text images in there um some of them are documents that uh are vintage from Ireland and I've also put a little bit of uh, Welsh in there as well because we did visit North Wales on our trip I've also included some plants that are um indigenous to Ireland a lot of them obviously the same as we have here in Wales because we're only over the, the water um but I just thought that gave it a nice feel as well um and the uh the back of the castle there with the uh the portcullis the trap door you wouldn't want that land on your foot um and th this window oh my goodness the, the, uh, the room that we were in when we visited this place it was absolutely beautiful that was in Malhide Castle and I just saw the window there with the curtains. I thought, oh, I've got to put that into a digital. It's just amazing. So uh, these are vintage uh, wallpapers then on the background here. Um, and then that's the last one of those papers there. That there was from the house where the Guinness family lived. 
um, we went and visited that as well. But um, yeah, so lots of interesting things, I'm sure. I'll tell you more about those as I use the kit. I've also converted those pages then into six journal cards, which you could also use as pockets. So entirely up to you how you want to use them. They're, they're kind of postcard size. If they are too big, print them out slightly smaller and obviously you can um, do with them then as you wish. I've also added two extras in here. There's a full image there of Dublin Castle and Malahide Castle. And then I've done eight tags with all the doors out of the kit. So um, I thought they were just a nice little add-on to go with that as well. So that is the three kits that I am going to be working with. Um, there are some offers on with those kits. The first two that I showed you do have a current... Ugh, I'll get my teeth in a minute. Do currently have an offer on. Uh, if you buy the two together, you get 20% off. I will put the voucher code for that down below. Um, but that's our tags so on to the next part of my video i'm just going to zoom out a second okay so what i'm going to be working on this month is a project to do with um travel um it's an idea that um rebecca came up with she contacted me a couple of weeks before christmas um and said hey rach what have you done with all the stuff you collected in ireland because uh, she knew obviously i was going to put a journal together and i still I got it all in a bag. It's Christmas. Nobody's interested at the moment. I'm, I'm not interested at the moment. I've got too much to do. So I've put it on the back burner. She's great because I'm going on holiday at the end of January. How about we do something on our channels? So Rebecca from Crazy Junk Journals and Rebecca from Crafty Junk Journals and myself are doing a travel project this month. She is currently away on her holiday at the moment. Um, she has managed to procure some amazing things. Um, I'm not going to tell you anything about it because you need to go and watch her video when she's back and she does that to hear all about it, but do not miss it. The stuff that she's found will blow your mind. Um, so she's going to be doing some stuff. I'm going to be doing some stuff. You just have to keep watching basically through the month to see what we come up with. But um, she is currently working with the travel journal kit that I've just shown you. Um, and obviously I've designed the Dublin Doors kit because I'm going to use that in my uh, travel journal as well. So I'm going to just tell you today a little bit about the haul I managed to put together. The things I found when we went on our holiday um, with the thought in mind of using them to create a travel journal. So the first item that I found was this book. Uh, the first hotel that we stayed in, in North Wales, was actually, um, they had a, a really old bookcase at the top of the stairs and um, they had books on there that said you were free to take and if you wanted to leave books there you could. Um, as I was climbing the stairs the night that we got there with my heavy suitcase, I spotted this book and thought, oh my gosh, I love it. That would make a wonderful junk journal. So my other half kind of rolled his eyes and was like, oh, come on, these cases are heavy. I was like, I won't be two minutes. So I went and picked up the book. Um, I don't hardly think it's been read because, like I say, the spine hasn't even been cracked properly here. So um, the book is called Killer. I don't really know what it's about. I think it's a, it's a murder mystery. I'm not too worried about that. I just wanted the cover. Um, so we'll be dismantling that and leaving some pages in. I did start using it as a bit of a um, an altered journal while I was away. I was keeping tickets and stuff in there and, um, you know, trying out some pockets or things. But uh, I don't like some of the speech inside of the book. So I'm going to take it out and we're going to use the cover. So that was free. So that was my first thing I managed to pick up. The second thing I've managed to, um, well, get hold of, have, find, receive, I don't know which word you want to use, on holiday were some birthday cards. Now, we went away, uh, we were supposed to have gone away in February, it was my 40th birthday last February, holiday was cancelled obviously because of lockdowns, um, so we went now instead. Uh, my other half had told the hotels and both of the hotels we stayed in very kindly left me birthday cards in my room, so I will be using these in my journal and also very kindly they didn't write on the envelope which I was quite tickled by that because I thought who doesn't write on an envelope they must be junk journalists okay so the next items that I brought back were uh, different types of bags now these bags here um you'll laugh we were down having breakfast my other half seven cereal and I was eyeing up his cereal packet on the table um and by the end of the holiday I had him very well trained because he was popping them in his pocket as we were leaving so I have a nice little selection of these cereal bags which are perfect to use in lieu of glassine bags so um, once rinsed and dried, they are absolutely amazing. 
and this here is a travel bag we will call it for want of a better word um this was actually on the ferry when we went uh, across very well made very thick um and obviously they usually just get chucked in the bin um i did pick up a couple because i wasn't feeling 100 percent on the way over um, and thankfully having not used them i now have these bags to use for different things in my journal so don't forget if you're away bring back some travel bags okay the next thing that i managed to pick up were some different types of um tourist cards now obviously when you're away um or when you go anywhere or visit anywhere you will find that very often they have different types of um information for tourists uh, ranging from little tiny cards like this to uh, large um pamphlets and leaflets like this to maps um, to all kinds of things so you know you, you can potentially pick up quite a lot of this kind of stuff um, when you are uh, away or visiting somewhere um, we did bring back quite a stash of these because everywhere we go we pick them up and obviously they weren't going to have them back or couldn't leave them in the hotel because of covid so we we brought everything with us um, what i've tended to do is the places we visited i've kept my tickets inside of and any other little extras that i've picked up uh, you know parking tickets uh, not parking ticket yeah a parking ticket that's right <laughs> not a telling off one just to pay to park um these little sticks of paper here we went to do some uh, whiskey tasting and we had to spray these with um the smell uh but i just thought oh that's cool i'll keep those i'll write something on there um and then this was here for the uh, museums in waterford and they stapled all of our tickets in which was great so i've hung on to that to put in as well um maps like this these will make ideal journal pages for your journal um you know and really interesting little things to leave in this like I say it's a page you've got to decorate then isn't it um so yeah everywhere we go i've always got a map um um i tend to write on my maps as well whilst we're away so there is one there that i've um written all different things on which i'd like to keep to put in my journal we actually went to visit the guinness uh, storehouse again it was our third visit we love going there um and this time as we came in the back stairs because you had to come in one way and come out the other they actually had these journal cards not journal cards tourist cards i was thinking oh journal cards <laughs> they're actually tourism cards but how cute are these so i thought they'll be amazing to put in to a journal each one has got a little map on the back uh, got a picture of the inside of the uh, thing on some of them um or on the outside there's a lovely image on there you can either collage straight over the top um if it's not something that's of interest to you but if you have visited the place you can just pop that in and then you could put a bit of um uh coffee dye paper on the back and then just write about you know your visit to that place um here in wales we actually do have these natty little tiny ones um and these are just quite cute in themselves to just pop in as a little bit of memorabilia ephemera so that's your tourist information don't forget to collect that if you're away um another place that sometimes we forget to look for um items are our actual places that we stay now the hotels that we stayed in this time we actually stayed in three because we did a bit of a, a drive through wales and a drive through ireland so we were a couple of days in different areas um but sadly this time i wasn't able to get any uh pens and and there's normally a pad and a pen isn't there in your room none of that everything was qr coded and all that jazz um just to keep everything clean and safe i suppose but um i did manage to bring with me our little card that our key was in with our room information so hang on to that and also um the hotel that we the one hotel we stayed in this was the one in north wales uh, had this like postcard and it had then all of the, the details on the back so and obviously then there's like little images of um the, the hotel and everything so they will be really useful as well um something that we did think to do while we were away this time <coughs> was to send postcards now when i um i had a postcard uh a couple of months back from rebecca she was away traveling it was, it was last year it was and she sent uh, a postcard to myself which was lovely to have um and while we were away i uh had said to her oh i'll send you one when i'm away so i went to do a postcard for rebecca and sent that to her and then the half said to me why don't you send some home to us and at least then when we get home we will have some um irish stamps and the post stamp will be on them 
So we did that. I sent some home to the kids and we actually sent them to the dogs. Don't laugh, but obviously to ourselves. Um, but I have now obviously come home to um, some stamps with Irish actual stamping on them as well. So yeah, that was great. So if you're away, maybe think about that. Send a postcard home to yourself and then you'll have, um, you know, that as ephemera then as well, won't you? Okay, so <clears throat> postcards, going on from postcards. Uh, we went out of season when we went away and the postcards, I don't know, they, they must take new pictures perhaps every year or every few years, but they were all on offer. Um, and it turned out that it was actually cheaper for me to pick up postcards than it would have been for me to have had photographs developed. So that's just something for you to perhaps think about. Um, not only that, but postcards tend to have like really interesting images on there, um, like things like this, that you wouldn't necessarily be able to get hold of or take a photograph of. I mean, I wasn't going to stay up for a sunset over the cliffs, so lovely to have that. Um, but yeah, so th these are just great for um, any kind of journaling. Um, we managed to pick up a good selection of those there. Some of them were only 10 pence, so I was really pleased with those. Um, <clears throat> we also kept a lot of our tickets. So obviously if you're going into attractions, make sure you keep your tickets um, because that there is your ready-made ephemera. Um, and another item that I've kept for uh, more ephemera is um, the uh, packaging from items that were bought. Um, so obviously we brought, you know, some things home for the children. Uh, my other half brought most of the Guinness store shop home with him because he absolutely loves the uh, Guinness um the label, the merchandise and all that, so he collects Guinness stuff. Um, not so much drinking, but definitely collecting. So I had a load of these, I've got a bag full over there, um, with different things on. Um, I just think they're going to make really interesting additions to my journal. So we'll see how we're going to use those a little later on. Um, we also managed to find, well I didn't, my other half found these. Um, it came over fully into the theme of this by the middle of the week, by the way, you know, I was like, oh, you know, put this in your journal, put that in your journal. But he found these leatherette stickers. So um, we were thinking perhaps if I wanted to use them to decorate maybe the outside of a journal, or I may use them in the journal, but they are really cool. And of course they've got the old uh, Guinness signs on them as well. Um, another thing that we found whilst visiting uh, St. Patrick's Cathedral, they had um, a pack of these little medals in um in the shop there and i just thought these would make absolutely brilliant charms on the journal so um look at that there so perhaps something to keep an eye out for i did visit quite a few um charity shops while we were there um thrift shops um found a couple of things and they're not a huge amount of what i was looking for really but i perhaps didn't have a huge amount of time in them um, but of course, that's something else that you might consider you want to look for, especially if you're in um, a, a, another country, not your own. Um, if you go into uh, charity shops and they've got jewellery maybe in there, you know, it's a different style perhaps to what you're used to um, working with and um, used to, um, you know, having access to. And it just might be, again, interesting to bring home to use for charms or things like that to decorate your journal. Um, now, these... <coughs> These weren't free. I did purchase these. These were my kind of uh, treat to myself. Oh, excuse the loud noise a minute. I don't know why I sort of tricky to get out, but I absolutely fell in love with these. They're little note cards. Uh, there's obviously envelopes in there as well. Um, and I just thought they were stunning. Uh, they've got like a gold um, gilt kind of uh, edging on those. Um, and the box as well. I just thought, how lush is that? So I thought even when I've used up the cards, that would be quite nice to keep that on my desk to store um, ephemera in. So they are the kind of basic things that I found all the way. Um, I did go into, like I say, a couple of the um, secondhand shops. I found an old Bible in Spanish, quite bizarrely, in Ireland. Um, put, bought that for £1.50. We'll keep that, obviously. Um, I also had a nice box that I'd kept from a purse that I bought. There are some other things and bits and pieces as well that I'll show you as I go on with this project. Um, but for today, so for today, what I'm going to do is show you how to make a uh, book page tag with a pocket. Um, and this is going to be to go into your travel journal. So um, 
obviously I made one first and then I made this one in the video that I can't use because it's too big and it, I, I've got to come and do it again. Um, so I'm going to just tell you a bit about how I've done this and then I'm going to very quickly make one with you. Um, so uh, the idea of it is that you have a writing space, you have uh, a small pocket in there, there's a small pocket that side as well. Um, and then on the back you have another tuck space and then you have a little uh, writing spot as well. So that was the first one that I did. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then the second one that I did was very similar. Um, and again, we've got little pockets in here. Um, there and there. We've got a writing spot there. And in the back, we've got another tuck space. And I've got um, a writing spot. This time, though, I've used uh, some scrap pieces of uh, paper from the large book page that I'd used. So <clears throat> that is what we're going to be making today. So I'm going to just go and grab a few bits and pieces and I'll be straight back. Okay, so what we're going to do is um, I've taken a large book page. Don't worry, you don't need a book page this big. This is just what I had. It was an old book, it's fallen apart, but I've taken all of the white off around the edge. So really don't worry about that size. Um, let me have a little look. How big is my page? It is A5. It's just under A5, actually. So if you've got an A5 book page, that will be more than adequate. Um, and the first thing I'm going to do before I do anything else... Ah, sorry, I meant to do that before I put the camera on. And that was just to literally ink around everything. So... Okay, so it's now all inked inside and outside. And I've been made sure to do down the edges. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to tuck the top so that it looks like a tag um here we go hopefully they look fairly even i'm not gonna worry about that too much okay so the next thing that we're going to do now is um we're going to work with oh, i thought i cut one out already i did here we go i've cut up some of the journaling cards from the uh doors kit and i'm going to use these now to collage on the front because I really really like the images on them so I'm going to just use this one here I think um, and we'll just put that into place on the gosh this paper's that thick I thought I had two there then so let's just take that off the end there and take that off the edge there. A little bit of ink around him. And that's wonderful. So that piece is going to go right by there. And then on the top, um, do I put a little bit of that on there? Let me just think. I quite like that image there, actually. Yes, that's quite nice. Let's go with that. Okay, so let's just take this down to size a second. And then what I will do is I'll make it a little bit longer and then collage the bottom. So I hope you've all had an amazing Christmas break and Happy New Year. Um, I'm not sure if I did say Happy New Year. You have to forgive me. I have said lots of things to you. <laughs> Just not in this video because <laughs> it was all in the last one. Oh my days oh my son came down the other night and said can we make any new year's resolutions mum what's your new year's resolutions so i still well i've been resolute over the last few years not to make any resolutions because if i make a resolution it's bound to break or be broken you won't be able to keep it so rather just change things as they need to be changed so uh but i think i'm going to make a new year's resolution to find a way to video and upload these videos easier and in a less time um, consuming way. It's, it's like you find one way of doing it and um, this is one I can't cope with technology you see. You know I'm not, they laugh, my kids call me a boomer. I, I don't know, you guys may know what a boomer is. If you don't know what a boomer is I'm about to educate you in kids speak. Um, apparently, and I wasn't aware of this because I obviously don't go to school any longer, but there are names now for the generations. You probably do know this. Um, I must be the last person to know about this. You know, got Generation X, Generation Z, Generation whatever. But there was a generation called the 
boomers. We all know who they are. They were our parents. Um, both of my parents were baby booms, were born in the baby boom rather. Um, and they're referred to in short as boomers. Well, I think it's kind of a, um, a, a thing of young people today that if you're talking to them and you don't quite understand the language they're speaking, mainly because it's so technical, uh, you instantly get referred to as a boomer. So that's what I get called a lot in my house. Kids are like, oh, mum, you're such a boomer, honestly. I'm like, oh, wow. That's just like, wow. <laughs> so yeah, so if you hear that expression, that's what they mean. It means that you are obviously born of an age or you appear as if you were born of an age where there was no technology, which I think is a bit of a cheek, really, because like I say, my parents are baby boomers and my mum is probably better on technology than I am. Um, although she deny it, she is really good. Um, she's very good with social media. Uh, once she's, she's been shown how to do it, she uh, she picks things up really quickly and she's not afraid to try. Um, whereas I, on the other hand, find the whole thought of having to learn new things all the time quite daunting. Um, I think I'm just a, a, a boomer in a different sense in that I've got baby brain from having children. So different thing altogether, I think. I don't know, do we ever recover from that? I'm not sure. But um, I know I didn't used to feel this dim. <laughs> Which is why I like working with paper, because it doesn't answer back and it doesn't require too much, um, you know, input from me. <laughs> there we go. So that's the front bit done <clears throat> for now. So on the inside, I'm going to just grab this sheet of paper here. Um, I'm going to use this one now and I'm going to use that just inside of it. So bear with me a sec while I tear. Okay, so I've torn that now and I have inked it all. I'm just going to fold this in half so that when I stick it to the page, it sticks easier um, because the fold will already be there. Plus, I'm just going to put a little bit of ink on there. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm a little bit froggy today. Um, so yeah, been a bit of a <clears throat> sorry, been a bit of a stressy day today. Um, I actually start my new job tomorrow, and I think after the waiting, the news have kicked in now a bit today, and I wanted to get so much done because I was like conscious that I'm not going to have the time now to do things, um, and the day has just not gone to plan at all. Um, it's just been wasted trying to sort out IT stuff. So things like that really frustrate me because I don't um, I don't go to bed very early as it is. I tend to be up all hours of the night getting stuff done and there's just so much to do, isn't there? Um, and then when I'm wasting good daylight hours, it's that's like, oh, that's so annoying. <laughs> oh my goodness, but there we go. In fact, my, my son owned me just now, as he says. Uh, Ikeno says made a very good comment because we were trying to install some new software on my laptop and um, he made a very profound statement and said actually mum the lesson here to be learned in patience and he's quite right so here we go right so that's the inside done and the front so the back what did I do with the back well what I've done there is I've simply taken another little bit of collage I think I took it off here to do the back pockets I'm going to actually on this one use the door because I quite like that image there um so if I literally just tear that a second and then um we'll get that put on and then I will just explain to you then how I did the last bits right so let's just ink that a minute. Okay, there we go. Um, so I'm going to just add a little bit of glue to the back of that. I'm just going to glue two sides. So that it remains a side tuck. Now, obviously, to, with this one now, I finished it off by uh, stitching. Um, I took it to the machine and I've stitched all around the outer edge here. I haven't stitched down the center. Um, and then when I did my the, the bit that I'm going to put on the front at the moment, I've stitched around the top piece and then put it onto book page. 
um, and then it caught that side of the pocket for me as well. So that will be my intention. I will do that later. Um, the little pockets that I did on the inside, I simply then used um, some bits of scrap that I had left from the others. So I will try and do a similar sort of thing here now. So maybe we'll use that there. Perhaps I'll try and fold that in half actually. Let's see if I can do all this out of one um, of these journal cards. Because that would be good. Um, now, because the pockets were so small, I actually finished and fitted them with um, washi tape because it just gives you a little bit more space in the actual pocket. So, yeah, I can glue that straight down now, but if I glue this straight to the page, it's that narrow, um, I'm going to lose more of the pocket in the processing of gluing. Okie dokie, so I've stuck the pockets in place. And we've got some little tickets to go in there now. And then the last piece that we need to do now is the bit on the front. So I'm just going to grab a book page. Um, I did have another one of the uh, ruler, that's what I'm looking for. So we want this to have um, a um, what's the looking for? A jagged, torn feel to it, because that's going to make the edge a little bit more interesting. So oh, I'm really rubbish at tearing paper. <clears throat> I don't quite know why, but it's not my forte at all. then to go on to the front um, there we go that's perfect and what shall we use on the front cover perhaps I could use my door again actually yeah let's do that shall we so we'll take this door down here if I can I will try and keep that in this room And perhaps we'll try and arch that around like the actual arch on the picture. Okay, let's have a little look, see how that looks. Yes, there we go. Amazing. Right. I'm not going to stitch this one on um, because we don't need to stitch everything, do we? No, we certainly do not. So the only thing I want to make sure is straight here is my words on the page. The line needs to be straight with the bottom of that. Everything else <laughs> can just do whatever it wants to do. And then we'll just glue this in place. And pop that down there. Just glue that bit there. Okay. Now on the um, on the previous one as well, I might just make a um, a tab a second. Where's that book page? Gonna make a tab a minute for the top of the tag. So I've got some washi tape here that's uh, got uh, images of stickers, uh, not stickers, tickets on. So I'll use that, and I'll do just nicely then as a tab for the top of the tag. Fold it in half. 
edge and then we will stick that here and that'll give us a nice quick tab need to get some more glue in there I think To look like a tag and then on the back we've obviously i made this little um little flip journal um but on this one i'm going to just place in one of the tags um that i've taken out of the kit so that will go in there and finish that off quite nicely there um what have i forgotten oh yes tickets right let's just put those on just cut that one out there these are super cute these are out of the travel kit they've all come off um the ephemera page and they are this small because i've printed two to a page so i get twice the amount for my printing and i just like them at this size because they're just super super cute um, these ones here are from the, uh, hmm, actually, where did I get that one from? Yeah, they must be on another page, I think. They are, they are on the other page, they're on the page of the words. Um, okay. So, do I want those up there? Like that? Or do I want them down here? A bit of paper coming up there. Behave. Stay down. Or am I going to put them down here? I don't want to cover that lovely image up, you see. Do you know what? I'm not entirely certain I need tickets on this one. I, I like the images that are behind. We don't always feel we need to um, add extra things. I'm going to just pop that word on there. Um... that up a bit better but yeah I'm gonna just pop that there like that I think and that makes it really clear to me then that that's for my travel journal there we go and there we are so obviously imagine it done with uh, the stitching if I had gone and stitched that would have been it complete, but I think they look quite cool. So you've got two with the stitching and one without. I think they all look just as brilliant as each other. Um, and like I say, these are ideal little just writing spaces for you to put in, but obviously they're nice and narrow. They only take up the space of a tag. You pop that in into a pocket then. So if you had um, a pocket on your page, <coughs> excuse me, you know, that would just slide quite neatly in, into that there. So you will see me using these in our uh, upcoming travel journal. Um, and of course you can make them any size that you want to suit um, your journal. But there we go. So nice, easy project. I hope you've enjoyed the video today, guys. I do apologize if it feels a bit disjointed. Um, obviously with the technical issues, um, <laughs> I do forget then what you've said and what you haven't said or um, what I've shown you, what I haven't shown you. So, um, but I just hope you all have a great day and I will be back with you all very soon. Take care now. Bye.